Okay, so we've looked at how to generate all the permutations of a word recursively. What I now want to look at is how to do it iteratively, and this, in my opinion, is a lot harder. Once you've been programming a while, you get this sort of problem and you just think of the recursive way. To, do, to think about doing it iteratively can be a lot trickier. Um, if you're watching this video, I would recommend pausing it at several points and having a go yourself, seeing, okay, do I have enough information now to try and pause it? If you haven't already, give it a go. There's the code for my recursive version there already. Have a go at trying to make an iterative version. And what I mean by that is that it's not allowed to call the function which is in again. So in this version, we're calling permutations recursive inside itself. So it's calling itself and using that method to solve the problem. Okay, so we want perm iterative and like the other one, it's going to be taking a word as an argument. And we can reuse that bit of code so it's going to print out the result. Okay, so how can we go about this? Well, one way which we can look at it is look at um, the input word as a stack. So we get a stack of letters and what we do is we take one off the top and then we put it into results. Then we take the next one off and we put that in every place in results we'll put at the beginning and at the end so we end up with that then we take the next one and we put that in results as well so that would so that would go in there actually that should be let me just make this a bit neater first. So it gets three copies of that. Three copies of that. It will put the C at the beginning, the middle, and the end. And then of the different version, the beginning, middle, and the end. And then if I had another letter on that stack, it would go through and it would put copy this however many times it would put a D there, it would put a D there, it would put a D there, and it would put a D there. So we're starting to get a lot more permutations. So this structure which we've got is a stack. So we, we best make ourselves a stack. And it's a lot easier doing that as a list rather than a string. So there we go, we've got our stack. Now the first step is just to make our results and that's just going to be the first letter in that stack. So that is going to be A. Our results, the first thing is just A. Now we can go over each uh, version which is in results and add in the next letter in the stack into that. So we want to keep this going until we ran out of letters, ran out of letters in the stack, no less. So when the stack is empty, then we want to stop. And in each time we go through, we want to take the next letter. Well, the next letter will be the next letter from the stack. So in this case, it's going to be B. Okay, we got this next letter, we then need to place it into the various places. And to do that, we need to loop over results. At the moment, that's just gonna give us A, but we've got the option of 
uh, when there is going to be more things in results it will be more steps and for I we want to loop over for every single position so if it's one so if it's just A we want to loop over twice one to put the B there and one to put the B there okay J E uh, in range the length of I plus one so we're doing it more times so if I is A then we want to go over it two times if I is B we want to go over it three times once the beginning once the middle once the end and so on scales really well so now what we want to do is take the uh, result which is a or whatever and we want to take the first however many characters then we want to add it to the letter which we're trying to add and then we want to add the rest of it and that'll be from zero j to the end so that if I is a B that will put letter which could be C into whatever position J is so if J is 0 we'll put it at the beginning if J is 1 it would put it in the first position pushing everything out if it's uh, 2 then it will put it at the end so we can't just do that statement on its own we've got to add that so we can add that into new set of results So that would be an empty set to start with, empty list. So now we're adding that into oops, the new results. Now if we just print new results, let's have a look, see what it does. Okay, so that is printing each of these. So this is um, putting in the next letter into each of it. So it's put in C, it's now trying to add in B to it. And this has got C again, it's putting A into it. So it's not actually growing because what we've got is results, which is your top of the stack and you're going over results, but results isn't ever updating. So what we actually need to do is say results is new results. Now if we have a look at results as we go, we can see it started off started off as just C, and then added in B to the beginning and the end then it added in B then it added in A sorry at the beginning of BC middle of BC and the end of BC then it added in A to the beginning of CB the middle of CB and the end of CB if we try that with uh, something longer then it will start looking a bit messier So you can see where it's adding in the L's, then it's trying to add in the E just into that string. So we can see how many permutations we've got where it's just adding it in to that section. Okay, so try and close the video, code it again. Hopefully you've paused it at various times in the video and then get, given it a go. See how you get on. Have fun.